I never remove my fingers from the stencil because if you remove your fingers, you're going to uh, do a bad revealing, okay? Hello and welcome to another video. In the last video, uh, we learned how to remove circuits without damage on the board, right? So we learn how to do the gravity method with that consists and hold the circuits and then just apply some heat on the top and then the motherboard is going to be, is going to uh, go down because for the gravity, right? So today we're going to learn how to do Reval. Uh, we had to learn how to do Reval in every different circuit. We had to use uh, a good technique because this is uh, the most important thing that you had to learn, okay? Okay, so we had this uh, circuit. So first of all, we had to clean the old solder past, okay? So we're going to apply some solder uh, flux a little bit remember i use this brand this brand is um Wusip. this is the brand that i always use okay you have to be careful okay we're going to use uh, this uh iron this is a uh, t210 tip okay this is my favorite if you are in this uh kind of repair you have to have this kind of iron okay this is t 210 okay and i always uh, use this one in so many repairs so to clean the tip of the iron i always use a napkin and i use uh, use it like this okay we're going to just clean it like this okay so to clean uh, circuits i like to i prefer to use uh, for example 300 uh, celsius okay to don't damage the circuits and I apply solder pasta right here. So, so you don't have to apply too much press when uh, you are going to clean the circuit, just on the top, okay? Just caballeroso. Okay, so I'm going to apply flux and then, see, I'm just going to pass my iron tip on the top, okay? Like this, cha cha. And like this okay you had to remove everything but don't press too much because you are going to damage the circuit okay practice and practice okay and then i'm going to have my uh, how you call this one i don't know the name in english but we call isopo okay isopo in spanish okay i don't know in english okay and then we're going to apply um alcohol we're going to use alcohol alcohol okay 99 percent alcohol and clean the circuits okay see just like this okay like that so i'm going to bring my napkin and i'm going to put the circuit on the top okay so it's better to use the napkin because when you are going to apply heat so the stencil is not going to bend okay awesome. i'm using this uh stencil and i'm going to put the stencil like this okay see on the top right right here okay so to do reballing we always use 183 solder pasta okay i'm going to show you this 183 okay 183 okay and be careful because when the uh, solder pasta is brand new come with a lot of uh, flux so you have is too liquid so you have to use your napkin to dry a little bit the flux okay just like this not too much but you had to just remove a little bit of the um the flux the ones come with the solder pasta okay so i'm going to use another a napkin because this one is a little bit dirty dirty right now okay i'm going to have the circuit and i'm going to put the um the stencil okay so here you had to use both uh, hands, okay? So the, the first one, you had to put your hand like this, okay? Like this, okay? Just, you had to do some press and I have the circuits and, and the middle, okay? So just make sure you are doing some press, okay? And then I'm going to apply with the spatula uh, some uh, uh, solder pasta like this, okay? See? But I never remove my fingers from the stencil, okay? You had to always uh, make press uh, pressions 
on the stencil because if you remove your fingers you're going to uh, do a, a bad revealing okay so I'm going to pass to the microscope and then when we apply some uh, solder pasta I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to apply a little bit more and I'm going to clean it sometimes I use my fingers to clean you have it's better to use gloves but I don't have the gloves right now and then I'm going to put my tweezer like this but see my fingers okay so I put the tweezers and then I remove my fingers but right now I'm I'm doing all the press with the tweezers okay and right now I have my left hand free to uh, use uh, the heat gun okay I'm using 350 right now with a 50 air and I'm going to do like this you have to put the, the heat gun slowly on the top of the circuits okay you don't do it like this for example like this no you had to start like this doing some cycles and then you are going to approach more and more so be careful because sometimes when the uh, when the solder pasta is brand new so you're going to see all the solder pasta is going uh, out of the stencil so that's why it's better to use low air and bring your heat gun approach to the circuit like slowly okay so i'm going to bring down the air to for example 40 i'm using 350 and 40 with this station so i'm going to use see slowly and i'm going to uh, i'm bringing the the heat gun closer and closer okay and then when i see the first bolt I count, okay? For example, I count one, two, three, four, five, and that's it. And then I just count one, two, three, and that's it. And then you only have to remove the circuit, hold it with the tweezer, and apply one more time heat, okay? And count, for example, three seconds. One, two, three. And there we go. You have your first uh, rebelling with a perfect rebelling. Let me show you all the balls as are in the same size. Okay, so that's it. This is how to do rebelling. So just practice in uh, small or medium circuits, and then we're going to learn how to do rebelling, for example, in baseband or CPU or uh, NAND memory because the big circuits sometimes are a little bit tricky to do the rebel because um, it's a little bit different but this is like the step that you have to learn if you are going to start doing micro soldering with me okay see you in the next video adios